Welcome to my video about the first Dalai Lama, Jendun Drub. In this video, we will explore the life story of this great spiritual and political leader of Tibet, who founded the tradition of Dalai Lama's reincarnation and promoted peace and harmony among different religious and ethnic groups in his country. We will discover how Jendun Drub became such an influential leader and how his teachings and legacy continue to impact the world today. Join me on this journey to learn more about the life and work of the first Dalai Lama. The first Dalai Lama, Jendun Drub, was born in 1391 in the province of Sang, Tibet. At the age of seven, he was recognized as the reincarnation of Sonam Gyatso, an important Tibetan religious leader. Jendun Drub studied with various masters and acquired a great understanding of Buddhist philosophy. He also founded several monasteries and attracted many disciples which allowed him to expand his influence. In 1439, Jen Dun Drub founded the Tashil Hanpo Monastery, which became one of the main religious centers of Tibet. He also established the system of Dalai Lama's reincarnation, in which the spirit of a deceased Dalai Lama is recognized in a young boy. Jen Dun Drub spent much of his life promoting peace and harmony among the different religious and ethnic groups of Tibet. He passed away in 1474, but his influence and legacy continue to this day. Jen Dun Drub was a highly respected and admired spiritual leader in Tibet. He worked tirelessly to promote harmony and peace among the different religious and ethnic communities of the country. During his life, he founded many monasteries and schools where students and monks could learn Buddhist philosophy, meditation, and other skills necessary to become religious leaders. Jen Dun Drub was also an advocate for the practice of meditation retreat, which he considered fundamental to achieving enlightenment. In addition to his religious activities, Jen Dun Drub also played an important role in Tibet's politics. He advised various political leaders and helped mediate conflicts between different groups. His influence extended beyond Tibet's borders, and he also had relations with leaders of other nations. After his death, Jen Dun Drub was recognized as an important figure in the history of Tibet and Buddhist religion. His reincarnation tradition was maintained, and since then, 13 other Dalai Lamas have been identified and recognized. The current Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gyatso, is a highly respected spiritual and political leader worldwide and continues to promote the teachings and philosophy of Jen Dun Drub and the other Dalai Lamas who succeeded him. There is not much information about the death of the first Dalai Lama, Jen Dun Drub, but it is believed that he died peacefully in 1474 at the age of 83. He spent his last days at the Drepping Monastery, where many of his disciples and followers visited him to pay their respects and receive his blessings. Jen Dun Drub's death was a sad moment for his followers and for all of Tibet, but his reincarnation tradition ensured that his influence and legacy continued to expand. The belief that he would be reborn in a young boy helped preserve the tradition of the Dalai Lamas and ensured that his teachings and philosophy continued to be transmitted from generation to generation. And so, we come to the end of this video about the first Dalai Lama, Jen Dun Drub. I hope it has been an enriching experience and has helped you better understand the life and legacy of this great spiritual and political leader of Tibet. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell to receive our updates. Also, please leave a like and share with your friends so that more people can learn about the story of the first Dalai Lama. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope to see you in our next videos. See you next time.